All right, we got a package in today. Looks like a big one. What does Kevin say? Christmas every day. <laughs> oh, it's both of them. <laughs> both of them in the same package. And then this one is a 110 $59. It's Piranha? What is it? Piranha? Extreme. Piranha Extreme. Where do you see Piranha? The name right there. Oh. Piranha. My dyslexic ass. It's reading it wrong. So, we'll be back and open these fully individual, but I wanted to get this in. It's got a little handle. That's kind of cool. And excited. We'll compare the two at some point. We'll do individual unboxings. Pretty cool. All right. So this is the RC ABRC. I think is. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's the Piranha. Go ahead and cut her open there, Lord. Comes with a little handle. It's a 110 brushed. It says it does 48 kilometers an hour, which is 20 something, I think. Features. What's the back of this box look like first? Some metal diffs. Uh, oil filled shocks, too. Good deal. We'll check later, see if there's bearings or whatnot. All right, let's get her open. Get the battery charged so we can rip these two. Now, this one was $59.99. Uh, I think, I believe it was Drones and Dogs. Let me know about it. Let's see the instructions in here. Looks like it's a multi use 110 off road. Decent breakdown. Standard instructions. Well, that's not good. There was a random screw at the bottom of the box. Uh oh. That's and good to know. None of the pins have any unlock tabs. Yeah, that's not normal. We're just spoiled because we've been getting the HBXs and E issues. So, but. Oh, definitely cheaper. It's not bad, though. Springy shots. I'm going to have to put some oil in them. It's got some jiggle to it. You got a controller or two. You said you found a screw. I'll go through it. It's right there. So that was in the box. Yes, looks like some pretty cheap batteries. Let's see what we got. Oh, they even give you controller batteries. That's a first. That is a first. That is a first. This is a true ready to run. So we got a screwdriver, a bunch of spare parts. Three batteries, and this looks like an 1800, and uh, but it's an actual. It might be an actual lipo instead of a lithium ion. The HBX comes with lithium ion. We'll have to charge this one up to see what it does. Um, standard charger, standard stuff. Lots of extra parts. That's good. All right, it's a decent remote. Pretty similar to uh. The HBX compare the two. Oh, well, we'll do that later. Pretty cool. It's got this. Looks like there should have been a button there and a button there. There are holes placed for machining. It's all right though. It's got your throttle, your trim, your dual rate, and then you can go north and south for your poles. All right, cool. Let's see what's inside this baby. I kind of like that body. I do too. It looks goofy in the picture. Like, look at that. It looks kind of goofy. But in reality, it looks really cool. Battery in there. So Ooh, so we get two batteries on this as well. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Another brushed. Unfortunately, this isn't a three pin, though. So if you did want to upgrade this, um, you'd have to upgrade everything. Because um, it's a two in one. And the servo is a five pin servo. Um, looks
looks pretty good though. Metal dog bones. Shocks aren't bad at all. They're, they're they feel like friction shocks. They probably just aren't filled with oil. It says that they're oil filled shocks, but that's pretty loose. But I like it. I dig it. It's definitely a lot bouncier than your HBX. The body is a little thinner than the other one. Too. Yeah. Still really bad. cool. Fifty nine dollars. That's half yeah. the price of the AC HBX. So even if it performs half as well, it's you know definitely a, a stiffer tire. Standard hobby grade RC mounts, probably a twelve, probably a twelve millimeter hex. Um, well, let me get the battery charged, and we'll do a little more in depth on this. Get the batteries in the controller we'll take i it do like the battery holder it's like a pin holder yeah for the battery then you can take it out that's not bad at all well we have to charge okay. them anyway so yeah get it out of there we'll do a performance test we'll rip them awesome so got a few batteries to charge there's one in the other one too right i think you took it out well, that's the uh, R cab or RC <laughs> RCAB car Extreme Piranha 110. Now, here's the power on this. I put the batteries in the controller already. This one got a power on the side like the other one. Oh, dirt. <laughs> Well, you're steering. Oh, this steering is so definitely seems faster. And this is the cheap one. Alright. Pull my, pull my trigger for me. Whoa! Whoops! Alright. So I'll be back when we're outside. Okay, we're gonna try and one hand it. She rips. Even easier to upgrade than yours, right? Yeah, this one you have to get it. Uh, but you know, if you wanted to stick with the brush, we get the hobby wing sticks in. We could even test it out. Yeah. I, I think these are pretty bad. They're not bad for what we paid. For, and they're monster trucks. They're meant to bash, not to go fast. Yeah. This one bounces. Well, you got your shocks are like come on. doesn't like the smash. Yeah, that's my plan. That's my plan is have an upgrade path and, and the cost effectiveness because the difference in price $59 plus $30 for a, a uh, electric. We're at the price. Ooh. 
Ha! No damage. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, that's why I like going with the brushed versions. And then up that's cool. Mine's got a skid plate, a metal one. I got a stick stuck. Well, so we're back on the bench. Just got done running a little bit. There's a little montage. Um, <laughs> it's got a little muddy. Let's look a little closer at this. See, it's a pretty common five pin servo. Got a heat sink on it. Looks like the drive shaft goes along the center. Um, these batteries are pretty good. I was pretty happy with the performance overall. It was uh, pretty fast. Um, <clears throat> it was bouncy, um, but it, it was real fun. And this has got a lot of possibilities. For $59, you really can't go wrong. Um, the only bad part is you, when you upgrade, you got to upgrade everything. I'm sure I mentioned it before. Uh, but all metal dog bones, they look like, you know, very similar size diffs to the... Um, like the 104001, like that size diff. So they're they're good and hefty. The the center drive shaft isn't anything special. I don't know if you see it in there. <clears throat> it's very it's actually the same as your Eachine. Um EC thirties have the same octagon drive shaft and it's just longer. Um lots of possibilities on it. I had a lot of fun driving it. <clears throat> um well let me take the wheels off. Now there's all the uh, linkage is plastic. The only thing that are the drives themselves. Um, so yeah. Not a bad little rig. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm my plan is to upgrade it, go brushless. Uh, tires are really stiff. Um, they did all right. I didn't have a problem with them, but it makes the bounce even bouncier. I don't know if there's foam in them. I don't feel like it. Um, I'm gonna probably throw. I got these for my old Jebatus. I'll probably throw those on there. Um, they got foam in them. I don't know. Anyways, that's my plan upgrade path wise. Now you gotta use the smaller batteries. This tray is kind of neat, um, but you are limited. You're limited to battery size. You can only use these smaller ones. Um, seems to hold up good it does not change its speed between the the driveway and the grass which is really fun it just you know it's it's um it just keeps going <clears throat> with the wls and the ones i've been running running little buggies hit the grass and it just sucks the battery out now we only got about um i gotta say we we only got maybe 10 15 minutes of runtime but that's plenty because they get two batteries um I, I, I kind of like it. I like the like the body. Price is right again. You can't really go wrong. I am gonna let do another video upgrade, and I'll probably check the oil, um, put shocks in it. Oh, looks like we had a little breakage. Um, so these can't handle a whole lot. Looks like the washers came right out of it, and the base is gone. So I'll have to uh, fix that. I didn't do a whole lot, but I did smash it a couple times. That must have been, yeah, yeah, that's probably that one smash. We're at the price. Ooh. <laughs> uh, but that's what it did. I don't know. All in all, I'm pretty happy with what, what it is. Can't go wrong. It's the base. There's a little plate. But it's real similar to, like, other ones of the 110 class. But like if you looked at that, that would be your EC30 
know, it would look almost identical if they just shrunk that part down. It's kind of cool. Anyways. Plastics are good. You know, you can raise and lower your posts, which is nice. Looks like that's the only thing that broke on it, though, was the one shock. Um, I got some spare parts if we have to. And they're aluminum collars, but it's plastic centers. No lights, no LEDs, no nothing fancy. You probably put one in. There's, there's a couple auxiliary ports for that um, in the stock. Again, that's a combo platter. That's one of those ESE. Um, five pin receiver combo deals. Um, I don't know much else to say about it. It's fun. Um, till the next time, till I see you. Like and subscribe.